What is good, Horror Horror? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is a tag video. Your boy, Horror Gamer, was tagged by a good buddy of mine, Hey Internet Eric here. And basically what this tag video is, is you take these genres of movies and you pick your favorite movies out of these genres. But... Your boy Horror Gamer decided, you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that challenge. But I'm going to give it a little bit of a horror twist. Because, you know, your boy Horror Gamer, that's what he does. You know, he's horror. So, without further ado, I'm going to give you the 10 genres that are on this list. And I'm going to give you my favorites in those genres. So, the 10 genres are foreign, mystery, adventure drama, comedy, Thriller, fantasy, action, science fiction, and actual horror horror. So, in your boy Horror Gamer's amazing way, I'm going to do foreign horror, action horror, comedy horror. You know, you get the picture. So, without further ado, let's just dive right into it. So, the first one is foreign. And, you know, for me, this one was a toss-up because there's two, in my opinion, foreign movies foreign horror movies that are like just amazing but I, I went with the one because the one for me is a little scarier than the other one so the first one the foreign one I'm gonna go Juon and if you guys haven't watched Juon basically it's the grudge it's the uh, you know it's that creepy shit and it's about a girl who gets murdered in a house and she gets murdered so violently that her spirit haunts this house and curses this house. And anybody who goes into this house gets that curse put onto them. And then they just die in terrible, terrible ways. So, but Thorn was definitely Juon. Now, like I said, it was a toss-up. It was either Juon or Ringu. Um, both of them are just amazing movies. And they involve scary girls with long hair over their face. So, it's just Juon for me. It took the number one spot because the grudge, the story of the grudge scares your boy like crazy. So, foreign. We're going to go Juon. And then the next one was Mystery. Mystery. I had to, I had to, you know, seek and destroy here with Mystery. There was a couple, but I think I landed on the perfect one for me. And I'm going to have to go for Mystery. Believe it or not, I'm going to have to go with The Ring. The U.S. version of the ring. So basically, this is the U.S. version of Ringu. But it's about, you know, this videotape. And it's about these people who come in contact with this videotape. And the whole movie, they're trying to unsolve. Or they're trying to solve the mystery of this tape. They're trying to figure out what basically makes it tick. What, why is it doing what it's doing? How can they stop it from happening to them and to their son? And... It's just them uh, on this on this adventure trying to just figure out how to stop this tape and the mystery behind this tape. You know, who's the girl on the tape? Why is she doing what she's doing? You know, all this stuff. So definitely have to go the ring for this one because it was just it was just an amazing, amazing movie. This movie, this is one that's kind of scared your boy a little bit too. I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna be honest, you know. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> now the next one is adventure now there's not many adventure horror movies there is a few but i think i picked the right one for me so the next one the adventure horror we're gonna go with army of darkness the screwhead edition so basically the story behind army of darkness is ash williams he gets sucked through this portal at the end of evil dead 2 and he winds up in king arthur times and He's basically there and he's helping these people fight the Deadites. And he has to go on this adventure to find the Book of the Dead. And just everything about this movie was fun. It was, you know, Bruce Campbell in this had the, some of the greatest one-liners ever. Um, he was funny. He kicked ass when he had to kick ass, you know. <clears throat> it, was just, it was just a fun, fun movie. Fun adventure movie. This could have actually won under comedy as well. But I, I think I got the perfect comedy one for me. But this was definitely uh, definitely check out, and that's Army of Darkness for Adventure. 
Now, the next one we're going to go, we're going to go drama. Again, so it's hard to find drama movies in the horror genre. There are a few. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying they're few and far between and they're hard to find. But I think I found the, I think I found the perfect one in this one too. So for drama, I'm going to have to go drama horror. We're going to go The Entity. And the story of The Entity is Barbara Hershey's character is tormented by a ghost and is raped constantly. And she she's trying to find out how to stop it. It happens out of nowhere. It even happens in front of her kids. And that's tough, man. That shit is tough. And this is based on a true story. And unfortunately, the woman who this is based off of, she never got relief because it was said at the end of the credits that she she died, but it stopped for a little bit, but it happened again. So basically, the entity never left her alone and she never got the peace in life that she deserved, that she's getting in death now. And it was just a, this movie was a powerful fucking movie. I mean, it was freaky. Um, Miss Horror Gamer said that after watching this, she couldn't sleep, you know, on her stomach for the longest time. Or was it on her back? One of the two, because this movie just freaked her out so much. But yeah, we're going to go horror drama. We're going to go The Entity. That movie was a definite win. Now we go to the horror comedy. Now those are a little more... There's a little more of those around. But I feel like I picked the perfect horror comedy for me. I don't know if you guys agree, but let's just jump into that one. And that one is Zombieland. You know your boy horror gamer had to pick Zombieland. And basically, Zombieland is what it is. The world's packed with zombies. And you got four survivors just living their best lives that they can during the zombie apocalypse. And you got one who's like afraid of just about everything you got the badass Tallahassee you got the two girls you know it, the movie was just fun it was a fun time it was funny all around the kills were great everything about this movie screamed awesome and funny and I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie this movie was definitely definitely a good pick for the comedy part it was a toss-up between this or Shaun of the Dead for me because both of those movies are really well-made comedy movies. Um, but I went with uh, Zombieland on this one. It was just a little bit better. So yeah, Zombieland for the comedies. Now the thriller. The thriller, I'm going to have to... That one was a toss-up too. Because like I said, again, thriller, horror. Kind of the same thing. And you know, it's hard to pick one. But for Thriller, I went with Jaws. I mean, come on, it's Jaws. What's more thrilling than a huge-ass shark eating everybody, right? But now, I had to go with Jaws on this one because this movie, like, it was well done. It's, you know, if you haven't seen Jaws, it's about this town and this man-eating shark going on a rampage eating everybody. And these three people go out and they try to stop him. And, yeah, fuckery ensues and Jaws attacks the boat. And everything about this movie is amazing. And it cured your boy horror gamer from ever getting into the ocean again. So yeah, definitely favorite horror thriller. We're going to go Jaws. 110%. Great movie. I definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't yet. It'll keep you from wanting to go in the ocean too. Trust me. So Jaws. <clears throat> now, for the horror fantasy... That one was a little tough, and because I don't own much horror fantasy, but I own the ones I like, and this isn't really like horror, horror fantasy, it's more like action slash horror slash fantasy slash comedy kind of deal, and that is the first Hellboy with Ron Perlman. So basically, the story behind this is Rasputin comes back, he's getting ready to like destroy the world or whatever, and your boy Hell, uh, Hellboy... He's got to fight him, and he's fighting all these creatures and these mystical creatures and stuff. And it's made, you know, by Guillermo del Toro, who is, like, the king of, like, your fantasy movies, in my opinion. You know, he made movies like, you know, Pan's Labyrinth and shit like that. And his visual effects are amazing, too. Like, 
They really stick out and they stick with you. Ron Perlman was the boss in this. Um, you know, he was he played. A, I love him as Hellboy. But now, definitely check this out. This one has that fantasy element to it. You know, with the creatures he fights, with the story, with locations that they have to go, everything. You know, definitely check that out. That's definitely worth the fantasy horror title. Well, t- horror title. Oh boy. Now we're going to go to the action horror. And there was only one choice for this for me. Um, the first one, it wasn't as action-y as this one. But this one introduced more characters um, that I know. And that is Resident Evil Apocalypse. You guys know your boy Horror Gamer is a huge Resident Evil guy. You know, I'm currently right now, I'm working through the series of Resident Evil before Resident Evil Village comes out, you know, and I, this had to be on the list. Uh, this is my favorite Resident Evil movie in the set, but this is also my favorite horror action movie. And the reason I say horror is because it's based on a horror franchise. It's just they made it super action-y. But yeah, this is basically the raccoon incident. If you don't know what Resident Evil is, the T-Virus breaks out, destroys Raccoon City. People got to survive. The zombies everywhere. Everybody eating everybody. Ass, blood, and guts everywhere. But now, seriously, definitely I recommend you check it out. But just know that this is the last good one before it flies off the rails into that garbage that we get afterwards. So Resident Evil Apocalypse is my action horror all right two more guys and the next one is your science fiction horror and for science fiction horror it was a toss-up these two have been in movies together but i went more of the horror route than the action horror route with this one and my favorite sci-fi horror is Alien. The first Alien movie, bar none, one of the creepiest movies I've ever seen. With the, you know, Alien coming out of the guy and, you know, just the, the, the stillness, you know, the stillness of space and you're trapped in this spaceship with nowhere to go with this foreign alien, like, in your spaceship that you brought on. And he's killing everybody and you have to hide from him and you have to try to survive while he's hunting you. Yes. All day, every day. Alien hits the top spot for the science fiction horror for your boy. Like I said, it was a toss up between this and Predator. But I love Predator. Don't get me wrong. Predator is a good sci-fi one too. Um, But scary wise, I like Alien better. Now, they did get more action-y when they brought in Alien vs. Predator and shit like that. But the first Alien movie was definitely like that in space, no one can hear you scream kind of shit. So, yeah, science fiction has to go to Alien on this one. All right. Now, for the epic finale, what is my favorite horror horror movie? And if anybody knows me by now if y'all know me by now you guys already know what this is i've said it a jillion times and it hasn't changed and that my friends we are gonna go with the exorcist for me this movie is um perfect this is the perfect movie for me great great special effects great practical effects the story was fucking scary The little girl being thrown around the bed, hopping up, and then the fucking amazing. The spider walk down the steps, heart stopping. Everything about this movie right here is perfect. 100% without a question. The best horror movie, in my opinion, of all time is The Exorcist. Haven't seen it, 100% recommend you go check it out get that the exorcist so all right i hope that tag video was good enough um i appreciate you tagging me my friend um like i said i'll leave a link in the description below for my boy hey internet eric's here's tag video 
So now, the fun part. I get to tag some people. Who am I going to tag? I'm definitely going to go for my boy Outlaw. I know you're just starting to get your channel up and running, buddy. Um, do it. Get out there. Get this is. I want to tag you in this. I want to see what your movies are. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, Sean Patrick Urshan, buddy. I want you to. I want you to. I want to see what you got. Um, I'm gonna go. Lisa loves. Lisa, it's been forever. I want to see what you got. Um, who else? Bronco, Bronco Juggalo. I want to see what you got, buddy. It's been a while. It's been a while since I talked to you too, man. I want to see what you got going on. And uh, anybody else who really wants to do it, just I just want to see. You know, I want to see what you guys, what what you what you guys' uh, um, preferences are. So, just to recap, foreign, we got you on. <clears throat> uh, mystery, we got the ring. Adventure. We got Army of Darkness. Drama, we got The Entity. Comedy, we have Zombieland. Thriller, we have Jaws. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Fantasy, we have Hellboy. Action, Resident Evil. Apocalypse, Apocalypse. Sci-Fi, we have Alien. And last but not least, Horror Horror, we have The Exorcist. So... All right, Horror Horde, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. Now, every time your boy Horror Gamer throws up one of these cool videos, you're in the know. After that, run on over to the Horror Gamer Patreon and see what kind of cool stuff we got going on over there. We're working on a few things. Um, we do our movie nights. We do our hangouts and stuff. If you want to get in on that, head on over there. And become a patron. And then when you're done doing that. Run on over to the Z Network. And see what kind of cool stuff we got going on over there. And um, you know. It's a little something for everybody. Also before I forget. I almost forgot. I didn't forget about you my, my boy. Um, my good buddy. Uh, Horrible Sir Sturdy. I want to see what you got too brother. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. But nah. I want to see what you got. I want to see your top 10 my friend. Um, Alright Horror Horde. With all that being said. I love you guys. Thank you guys. Until next time, this is your boy Hard Gamer saying, as always, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it.